Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd, and I love real Star Wars. First generation fan, EU guy, franchise closest to my heart. I will defend it forever to protect and preserve George's galaxy far, far away. So future generations know what real Star Wars looks like and that Disney Star Wars was fan fiction trash that George did not approve of and was jam-packed with agenda, bad stories, and bad characters. And that's the core of it all. Because in right now, where there, there's a story roaming around out there, report from a new book that happens to talk about the MCU, but mentions Disney Star Wars in it, that it's not Lucasfilm's fault that Disney Star Wars is doing so poorly right now. It's not their fault. It's not my fault. No, 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 no. They were pressured by Disney. Disney told them all the time that... They had to announce this stuff. They had to get it out there so they can keep the franchise fresh, keep it moving, keep it relevant, keep it modernized for the audiences out there because the audience, they don't, they don't need quality. They just need to constantly have something shoved in their face. Disney reportedly forced Lucasfilm to make a Star Wars announcement before they were ready. Let's just go right. The book, MCU, The Reign of Marvel Studios, by Joanna Robinson and Dave Gonzalez and Gavin Edwards, has released, and there's a lot of good stuff in there, I'm being told, but here, right here, comes out of this. Kevin Feige and Lucasfilm chair Kathleen Kennedy appeared on screen to announce a dizzying number of new projects. Both Feige and Kennedy were pressured into announcing projects that were nowhere near ready, some of which have since been canceled or significantly overhauled and delayed so essentially disney puts pressure on lucasfilm to get announcements out there of star war projects before they're ready resulting in stability and cancellations some of the announced projects have been delivered but others have been canceled or delayed due to development issues the pressure to announce projects came from the top of disney causing lucasfilm to face challenges and a period of uncertainty in the star wars franchise bullshit Complete and total bullshit. Here's why. Let's get right to the nitty gritty, the core, the chewy center of the Tootsie Pop. Kathleen Kennedy is now trying to push off blame if this is report is true. Maybe Kathleen Kennedy, maybe her toadies, maybe it's not her directly, but let's just say Lucasfilm is trying to distance himself from the fact that they have destroyed Star Wars, that their tenure as custodian of George's galaxy far, far away has been a complete failure. It's a failure because nobody watches it, nobody buys the merch, and guess what? Nobody cares. But we're going to break it all down as we always do. But according to them, the problem with Star Wars is that they announced too much and delivered too little. That's essentially what this is saying. No. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Why? It's a very simple fact. What you've put out is still bad. Bad characters. Bad stories. Bad CGI. Bad special effects. Bad music. No continuity. Retcons required constantly to fix plot holes created by the movies, the TV shows. There's a reason people don't care about Disney Star Wars. It's because it's not interesting. Nobody cares about Rey. Nobody cares about Ahsoka. Nobody cares about Andor. Nobody cares about the Mandalorian. And Grogu? Baby Yoda Grogu was a marketing ploy that they weren't even ready to capitalize on. What we have here is trying to pass the blame to others. Trying to pretend we're not at fault because the giant company made us do something. Did they make you write bad characters? What'd you do? I bypassed the compressor. Did they make you write stories that made no sense? <laughs> Did they make you create the High Republic, which doesn't sell, which has steadily declined since it's... Phase one, now to phase three. Did they make you put out lines of comics 
that are constantly changing the original trilogy that nobody's reading? Did they make you put out toys on shelves that nobody's buying? Did they? No, 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 no. You chose to do that yourself. All of that lies in the lap of Kathleen Kennedy and her executives, not the executives at the top of Disney. We're at a point where Hasbro, rumored, doesn't even want to place or have Disney place orders with them because they know the merch won't sell. They'll do limited runs at the bare minimum of a production requirement because they know the adult children on next Twitter will buy it, but real children and real fans will not. So that's the bottom line of it. This is a passing the buck thing. If this report is true from this book, this is Disney Lucasfilm trying to pass it on to Big Daddy Disney that our failures are not our own. We were told to do things. We were just following orders. Famous line. Disney Star Wars is terrible. There's a reason Ahsoka has such low ratings. There's a reason Andor, and I know some people don't like it when somebody says this, but I'm going to say it again anyway. There's a reason Andor is ignored and liked by such a few people. Why? Because one, it was boring as sin. But Adam, you don't need Jedi and Sith and, and lightsabers in the first half Star Wars. You can tell stories that are in the ground. No, no, that, 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 yeah, you could do that. You did it all the time. And it was beloved and cherished. Andor was boring because, well, it's just a mid-tier, average science fiction show with Star Wars elements in it. And if you pluck out all the Star Wars elements in it, it still works as an average science fiction show. It's not Star Wars. It isn't. It's boring. Nobody cares about it because that's the thing. It doesn't matter. Just like everything in the Mandoverse doesn't matter because they slotted it in between original trilogy and sequel trilogy and are trying to mess around with things in a limited space of time, which is not entertaining and cause, causes limited ability to tell the story. You're locked in. And when you're going from one thing to another, doing events leading up to a thing that's already been established, you have no room to maneuver. And it's dead-end storytelling. All roads lead to Jake Skywalker and the sequel trilogy in Green Titty Milk. So, Disney Star Wars failures has nothing to do with the fact that Disney put pressure on Lucasfilm. It has to do with the fact you made movies everybody hates, you made characters nobody cares about, you're telling stories in the High Republic that nobody cares about, you're pushing comics that are altering Star Wars that nobody cares about, and nobody buys your merch. Because nobody cares. So in the end, nobody's fault but Lucasfilms and the writers and the directors they hire to push out this garbage. And please, please, I want the Ray movie to happen. Because when that happens and it bombs and it proves once and for all that nobody cares about Ray, not because she's a woman, but because she's a shallow, empty character who runs on stolen valor and stolen surname to make her relevant. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. We hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about whiny stan, SJW, and fake fan fifis. Hit the notification button to my videos if you like what I'm preaching. And by all means, leave a comment. I love to hear from passionate real fans like you. I care what you think. I do not care what the stands, the fake fans, and the SJWs have to say. Because 201, they're all cowards behind keyboards. They easily triggered. They cry a lot. They vomit a lot. They touch themselves a lot while being angry at me and many others. And that makes me laugh. Thank you again for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos. Maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. 
You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at ROAS, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.